Now, everything we've up done up till now, the equations had a solution. These two special cases will either have an infinite number of solutions or no solutions. So let's look at one of the first examples. You'll have a question similar to question seven, and it will look like five times four x plus five plus three times two x plus four plus four is equal to 26 x plus 41. All right, now, first thing, obviously, is to go through and distribute both of these pieces. All right, when you go through and distribute this, you are gonna have five times four x, which is going to give you 20 x, and then you'll have five times five, four plus 25. The next group, when you distribute it, will be three times two x, which leaves you as a six x, and then a three times the four, which is a plus 12. And we also have to bring down the four. All right, so first thing I'm gonna combine all of my variables, 20x plus six x equals 26 x. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my numbers, 25 plus 12 plus four is equal to 41. Now look at what the right-hand side says. The right-hand side matches exactly this. So what that means is x can be any number. Because if x was 0, it would still be 41 is equal to 41. If x was one, when I plug that in, I'll still have the same thing on both sides. So what this is, and it, it is an example for an infinite number of solutions. I could say it has an infinite number of solutions. Another way that I could say this, I could say that write it as infinity, or it could be x can it be any real number. Now to type this into the My Math Lab solution, there is an infinity button if you see it. If you don't, you can type two, zero, two O's as an octopus, and that infinite symbol will come up. This happens any time the left-hand side is equal to the right hand side exactly anytime they both match up exactly you will always have this infinite number of solutions the next example we're going to do is something similar but when we multiply this out five times five x plus two plus five times 5x plus 5 plus 3. And if I look at the right-hand side here, that would be 50x plus 39. Go through and distribute all of this out. And when you do that on the left-hand side, you're going to be left with 25x plus 10 plus 25x plus 25 plus 3. So again, the first thing we're going to do is combine our variables. 25x plus 25x is 50x. And then we're going to go through and add 10 plus 25, 35 plus 3 more is 38. Now if I look on over here, at the right hand side, that's supposed to equal 50 plus 39. Now, the two 50s are there. If I went through and I subtracted 50x from both sides, you end up getting this statement that is 38 is equal to 39. That is never true. So, what we type in for 
examples like this is D N E and that stands for the solution does not exist. 